Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and today I am here to unbox the January 2023 Beauty Heroes box and it is a big one. Um, just to let you know, I do have two babies behind me. Um, so you might hear they're sleeping right now, but they make a lot of noises. So you might hear some grunting and different sounds um, just to let you know. So if you watched my channel, you know, normally I don't know what the box is. I try to avoid like the email that Beauty Hero sends and um, anything on like Instagram or YouTube about this month's box. However, I think I saw something that makes me believe that it's Bathing Culture. That's the brand that this box is. Um, I accidentally like saw something I think on Instagram and um, I might have ruined it for myself, but if it is Bathing bathing culture is that what I said <laughs> I think that's what they're called um I've never used anything by them so I'm excited if it is um to like because I don't know them at all so let's just open up the box and see what's in here so like I said here's the box this is my favorite time of the month is opening a beauty heroes box all right yes so my spoiler that I saw was correct it is beauty heroes and they're featuring bathing culture I'm interested to see if this is going to be not skincare because I don't know if Bathing Culture does skincare. I think they did They did a box with them in the past before I was a subscriber and I think it was like body wash or hand soap and something else. So let's see. All right, we have a cool thing. All right, oh my gosh, I'm excited. All right, this box looks very interesting. Looks like there's a lot of goodies in there. It's big. All right, let's see. Let's pop one out and see. All right, we have Mind and Body Wash. Cool, this is fun. I have not gotten any body washes from Beauty Heroes this whole time. I've been subscribing about a year and a half and I actually don't own any body washes. I own just like bar soap. So this is exciting. We have a Good Seed Conditioner in Nude Beach. Fun. Cool. So there's something for our hair. And then we have Kelp Forest Shampoo in Breakwater. So we have a Kelp Forest Shampoo and a Good Seed Conditioner. And we have another product. This is very cool. There's four products in here. I'm excited. <laughs> and then we have Heat Wave Body Oil in nude beach so the same scent as the conditioner this is pretty cool so i am pretty excited because i love body oils and anytime i'm trying to i don't know that i've got yeah i have gotten body oils from beauty heroes i can think of the prima body oil which has cbd in it which i was kind of afraid to use during pregnancy i did use it the other day um just like I, i'm also being hesitant because i'm nursing the babies um but i used it and it was really nice so i'm gonna try to use it like once a week or something um but this is so cool this is shampoo conditioner um body oil and a body wash this is like a great box so and so it's gonna be actually a really short video because normally they have a ton of like information but today it's just this so I'm just gonna tell you about them and then we will go from there okay so it says in the spirit of the progress and positive energy that comes with each new year we introduce our first discovery of 2023 a long-awaited four-piece bath and shower ritual by bathing culture years of R&D interrupted by a global pandemic did not deter the San Francisco based brand Instead, trial and error led to a breakthrough in ingredient innovation and the creation of a full body aromatic immersion. Inspired by a day long hike in Northern California, this hair and body set is as rejuvenating as daybreak, as invigorating as a skinny dip and as immersive as bathing in the forest. Let the journey begin. You know, um, in the past few months, they had an inner sense box and inner sense, um, it had different like hair products. It had a detox hair mask, um, the hydrating hair mask, it had a shine um, or hair oil, and I think it had, I know it had samples of the shampoo and conditioner, but, and I remember not being like super excited about that box because I had already used almost all the products except the I Create Shine oil, um, but this shows me that I am excited about shampoo and conditioner. I just wasn't excited about those ones because I already knew them, but I am like super excited to try these. I've been using the Inner Sense um, shampoo and conditioner for over a year now and I like it um, but the idea of like using something different on my hair while I'm testing these seems very exciting to me 
All right, so it's a four-part ritual. It says, takes us on a journey starting at the summit of Mount Tamalpais, threading, excuse me, threading through the redwood trees, down through the grassy coastal headlands to the beach where we dive headfirst into the Pacific Ocean, the whole journey. Featuring innovative biodegradable plant-based ingredients, these universal formulas inspire connection and protection of mother nature. All right, so the first thing is the mind and body wash in Metal Vision. It says it's new, it must be like a new scent. It's eight fluid ounces and normally costs $18. So actually to me, that's like a very affordable cost. It says get lost then found in the wildly transportive scent inspired by a vision quest in a lush meadow. Elang, I think it's Elong Elong, geranium, clary sage, and lavender bloom high above the coastline. Resilient yet ephemeral, these wildflowers blanket the landscape only for a short period of time to wake up our senses and inspire deep appreciation. This is Meadow Vision, a new scent for Bathing Culture's hero product, Mind and Body Wash. Okay, so their hero product is Mind and Body Wash, and this is a new scent of it. Aloe, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and skin conditioning glycerin are blended and bottled in 100% recycled PET. Hmm. It's to me, it's like a unisex scent. Um, it's it's interesting. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells good. Next up, we have the Kelp Forest Shampoo, which is also eight fluid ounces and twenty eight dollars. Says with clean, pristine water in their sight line, Bathing Culture painstakingly developed a readily biodegradable Kelp Forest Shampoo, replacing oft used polycort bacterium, a bioaccumulating ingredient that is known to help reduce static and frizz with a water and aquatic life-friendly synergy. Kelp extract loaded with vitamin C and omega-3 offers essential minerals and nutrients that regenerate the roots, inspire growth, and support strength. Seaweed, bay laurel, sweet orange, and clary sage smell like sweet ocean spray. So let's try the shampoo. Smell it. Mm. Wow, this one's kind of like invigorating. Hmm. Interesting. None of them are, um, well, so far they're like kind of like herbal, herbally type scents. Um, definitely not like, they don't smell, oop, I'm making this one leak. They don't smell like traditionally what I would describe as like feminine or anything. So interesting. Okay, the next one up is Good Seed Conditioner. It is eight fluent ounces for $30. And it says, making our way to the shore, we encounter the healing properties of seeds, stems, and flowers, the base of good seed conditioner. Using biodegradable plant-based ingredients and the best in green chemistry, this all types, all textures conditioner uses brassica seed, coconut, and castor seed oil to replace polyquats and silicones that tend to build up and weigh hair down. Squalene and amino-rich amaranth seed further reduces static and frizz while argan oil, carrot seed, and celery seed deliver vitamin E, fatty acids, and carotenes and add a rich and creamy texture. A blend of magnolia, coconut, rock rose, carrot seed, and sweet orange smells like sun-kissed skin on warm sand. I wonder who writes these up. So the scent is nude beach. This scent sounds interesting. It's pretty subtle. Yeah, I can barely get a scent from it. So it'll be interesting to like smell it in the shower. This is gonna be a whole fun experience. Um, and as you guys may know, I my babies are about five and a half weeks old. So I'm in that early postpartum time. So taking a shower, like taking time to do this, like wash my hair, condition it, use the body wash, and then get out of the shower and use the body oil. It will be like such a nice like self-care moment. So I'm excited for that. All right, finally, we have Heat Wave Body Oil, which is four fluid ounces for $35. So it seems like it's gonna be half the size of these bottles. So we have the, pretty, Heat Wave Body Oil in Nude Beach. And it says, the final step in our four-part journey feels like a silk slip and smells like summer-soaked skin. Warm, lush notes of magnolia and coconut are balanced with citrus and Heat Wave Body Oil a post-bath barrier shield of rice bran, fractionated coconut, sunflower, and jojoba oils that mimic the skin's natural lipids and quickly absorb. Arnica containing bioactive hel helenalin, <laughs> there's so many words I'm like stumbling over, 
that soothes muscle soreness, pairs with avocado oil to seal in moisture and deliver day long radiance. It's a light, warm, it's as light, warm and healing as the sun. It must be fun to be the one to write these up. Hmm, that smells nice, kind of subtle. So that's everything. This is awesome. I am super excited about this box. If you know, normally January, either December or January is usually Ayuna. They feature that brand. It's usually like one really expensive face cream, but they stopped doing that this year. The the mask that Ayuna has come out with is like, um, I think it's over a $400, you know, cost. And it's not, they're not doing it with them this year. Maybe they just didn't want to anymore or whatever. But um, I think this is like a cool turn of events and unexpected and exciting and a whole brand that I've never explored. So just to sum it up, we have a shampoo and conditioner, and then we have a body wash and a body oil. So it's gonna be super fun. Not to mention it's not skincare, which is different and fun because I have a lot of skincare and um, I am excited to start my Project Pan 2023. I'm gonna be working on all sorts of skincare. I'll be coming out with that video soon, hopefully this week, we'll see uh, if, I, if my kids that are supposed to be in school, go to school <laughs> and aren't sick and everything. Um, but it'll be nice to like be able to enjoy the Beauty Heroes box, but also be like working on my skincare products and stuff for the month of January. So please give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful, click the subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted for when the next video comes out. And let me know what you think of this box. Have you ever used anything from Bathing Culture? And what do you think? Um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.